Right, so hello and welcome back to another 90 Day Fiancé video on Arthur TV. So last time out, we looked at part two of Big Ed and his Filipina girlfriend, Rose. We watched as the couple made up following their first big fight before spending the night together in a hotel. The next morning, Ed asked Rose to shave her legs and the pair went off to Rose's house, where Ed met Rose's family for the first time and expressed his shock at Rose's living conditions. In today's video, we're going to be following the couple as they head off to the island of Panoan, where Ed insults Rose so badly that it leads him to discover her big secret. But before they head off, Ed wants to know if he has the blessing of Rose's dad. So first up, it's time for some family bonding. <laughs> My dad what? say we we want to shower too with you. Together now? Yeah. Okay, sure. Apparently this is something the family do when they're close. So for the first and probably only time ever in their relationship, Rose is about to ask Ed to take off his clothes. Put out. Take this off. <laughs> Oh my god, did you hear the noise she just made? You know, someone commented in my last video saying that their entire relationship is basically Ed asking for stuff and Rose making weird noises back at him. And now I literally cannot stop noticing how often she does it. Uh, okay, what do we do? <laughs> oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. This has to be the weirdest experience of my life. Ooh. I love how much enjoyment she gets from dousing him with the first cold bucket of water and then just spends the rest of the time in the corner laughing at him. She gets so much enjoyment from his suffering. It's so entertaining to watch. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. Wait, wait a minute. Whoa. Showering with your girlfriend's dad the day you met him would be so awkward, but Rose's dad is so chill. I mean, he's hardly said a word, but you can just tell he's a sweet man, can't you? Please, ang tubig. Salamat. There's chickens. There's yeah. chickens? Yeah. And rabbits and bunnies. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. I wonder if she realises whilst doing all this that her boyfriend is older and in much worse shape than her dad. Then again, I don't think a lot phases this girl. Oh my god! Rose, what is that? A little mouse. That's a mouse or a rat? I, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I have so much respect for how Rose just isn't embarrassed of where she's from. She's just like, yeah, this is my house, deal with it. Mouse, rat, one of the two. So Ed didn't exactly cover himself in glory in the family introduction stage of the relationship, but thankfully he now has a chance to redeem himself. I'm excited naman ako na makita ni Ed yung babuyan dito. Okay, yeah, hold on. Oh, take care yourself. Okay. Right there, okay. Oh god, okay, okay. Okay, all right, sorry. Oh, don't bite me. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This man is useless. The dad must just be thinking like, oh my god, if this guy can't even feed a pig, how the hell is he gonna provide for my daughter? I think the baggies are making me more slipperier. I'm standing there trying to catch my balance because every step I take, I'm stepping into mud, more mud. I can't get good footings because I'm in sneakers wrapped in plastic baggies. I just kept falling. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> How does he keep slipping up so easily? I mean, I know he's got plastic bags on his feet, but the one advantage of being four foot 11 is you have a really low center of gravity, but he still can't stop fumbling the oats. So Rose, where does your dad live? Here. Here inside. With pig. Does he like living here? Yeah. Gusto mo ba daw pa nandito ka? Yes, yes. These are my father's passion. Yeah, this is fun. No, tell him I had a lot of fun. Ito ba naman daw siya? Yeah, this was good. You know, I'm kind of glad Rose's dad doesn't speak very good English because it would make me kind of sad if he could hear all the things Ed was saying. Like, even though Rose translated what he said, I think it was just the tone that he said it in. Like, he first gets invited into their home and all he does is point out that there are rats around and that there are no windows. And now he sees where Rose's dad is living and he kind of turns his nose up at it. It's kind of sad. 
So there's something that I wanted to ask you. Last night, I had a hard time sleeping because it was so hot. So I wanted to take a vacation for a couple days with Rose, if you're okay with that. Okay lang, basta alagaan mo siya ng ano? Yes, um... Ayos. I promise. Okay. I promise. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll see you again soon. Okay, okay. You know, if I was Ed, I'd stop worrying whether Rose really loved me. I'd marry her anyway, just have this man as my stepdad. I'm so glad we're going on this vacation away from our family and away from, like, this environment. Can you imagine welcoming someone into your home and your family and then hearing them on national TV be like, I can't wait to get away from these people in this environment? You'd be like, what? <laughs> All right. So I can figure out a couple things for myself. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Because I came to the Philippines to marry Rose, but I'm not 100% sure it's true love on her end. So I need some more alone time with her before I put a ring on her finger. Okay, let's go. I love how he says he needs more alone time with her before he can put a ring on her finger. Like, come on now, you met her in person five days ago. You need several more years of alone time with her. What is the rush with these guys? I've been in the Philippines for five days, and I've been in Rose's village for the last 24 hours. And now, Rose and I, were going on vacation. I'm a little bit sad for Prince. I decided not to confront Maria about how she asked me for money and asked me not to tell Rose. I think it's important that I talk to Rose first because I need to find out whether she had anything to do with it. Bye bye, thank you again. It's actually mad how much loneliness can blind you, isn't it? Like he's out here wondering if she really loves him and wondering if she's scamming him and he still wants to marry her. I think he's getting a little bit ahead of himself, so let's just see how the vacation goes. So she's never flown before. Her first time in an airplane. Does so she have a window seat? Uh, it's already a uh, window seat. You got a window seat? Here you go. We're going on our first flight. Oh my God. Are you excited? Yeah. We are going to the island of Palawan. And I'm so excited. White beaches, warm ocean water, no more rain. Oh my God, here we go. Hi, Sam. I'm so excited. Oh, this is actually so sweet. I actually feel really happy for Rose. It's so annoying. I spend my entire time watching these videos thinking Ed is a massive divvy. And then something like this comes along and I instantly like him again. Something tells me, though, that isn't going to last very long. My dream for this trip is that Rose and I grow closer together. I want to propose to Rose, but I can't have any doubts about her. This is the biggest decision I will ever make in my life. How many times is this guy going to air his doubts on national TV? Can you imagine how awkward it's going to be if they end up watching this show together? Also, what does he mean the biggest decision of his life? He's been married before, and let's be real, this probably isn't going to work out either. So he's probably only on his second big decision out of at least three. Good morning. Did you sleep good? Yeah. How about you? Me, good. Oh my God. Where are we? Palawan. Oh my God. So yeah, they stayed there the night and just like last time, the camera crew were there the morning after before Rose has even got out of bed. Last time they were in a position like this, Ed got off to a terrible start by telling Rose to shave her legs. And if you thought it couldn't get any worse than that, just wait until you see what he does next. So um, I got some surprises. For you? Really? Can I show you? Sure. Oh. Don't look. No look, okay? Big surprise. What is that for? It's called a teddy. Rose and I have only made love once, so being intimate is still quite new for us. But all in all, I think Rose and I have good chemistry. What is he talking about? 90% of their communication is literally just her groaning and rolling her eyes at him. This man is delusional, and he definitely failed high school chemistry. I got a couple more things. Sure. Okay, so this is going to be less romantic. So this is um, mouthwash. And I got you a cute toothbrush. This your breath is not um, pretty. 
I actually cannot believe he had the audacity to say not pretty to a girl like Rose. I mean, I don't really like roasting people for the way they look. It's not really something we ever do on this channel. But you just can't not bring it up when someone that looks like Ed is being this judgmental. I mean, imagine how he'd feel if she bought him some diet pills and some neck rings. He'd be absolutely devastated, and rightly so. One of the first things I noticed, even at the airport, you know, was her breath, but I didn't know how to bring it up. And I don't think she realizes it, but I do. And then I got you good toothpaste. Okay. Oh, I actually live for Rose's facial expressions. This is the face girls give me when I tell them I'm a YouTuber. Do you know that um, my concern is your health? Because if you get disease in your mouth, it goes to your heart. You can get sick. Do, do you understand? I know what you mean, but this is my problem, my stomach, not my teeth. Oh, really? I have an ulcer, you know. Oh, you have an ulcer? Yeah. I always toothbrush. Okay. This is the first time you're telling me you have an ulcer. So now you tell me, I understand. From my heart, I care about you. I know. Oh God, so once again, Ed's insensitive nature leads to him insulting and embarrassing Rose. You know, a little part of me does feel for Ed here. Like he obviously does care about her and there's no way he could have guessed that her bad breath was caused by a medical condition. But then again, he probably would have found out if he had just spent more time getting to know her and less time obsessing over her relationship history. And either way, he's gone about this in such a disrespectful way. He just can't do anything right, can he? I'm so assaulted that I want to give up pants to Ed and I be embarrassed. I think Ed is a good person. I love you. I love you. Pangit mo. I love you. Pangit mo. Does that mean I love you? I hope it means I love you. Well, things are looking pretty rocky with Ed and Rose, and that is probably just going to add to the rumours. So at the end of the last video, I mentioned that there were rumours going around that Rose was dating someone called Ed J. But a few days ago, Rose took to the comment section of her Instagram to deny the rumours, saying, The rumour that I'm engaged to a woman is not true. Hashtag stop the lies. There were some articles written after she commented this, basically saying that it was unclear what gender Edge Hay identifies as. So the engagement rumours might still be true, but it might just not be with a woman. But Rose hasn't said anything more on this, so rather than speculate on her sexuality and relationship status, I think I'm just going to leave it there until we find out more from her. Well, that is unfortunately all we have time for today. So if you want to find out what happens next, make sure you're subscribed down below so you don't miss out. In between uploads, I'm going to be streaming a lot more frequently on Twitch. So if you want to come say hi at any point, the link to that will be down below, along with links to my Instagram, Twitter, and other social medias. So yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.